I've been asked, what do I do with kumquats? One thing I do is I cut them in half and I boil down the, I guess it's just water. We're just going to boil it down and when I get juice, I'm going to strain it and I'm going to add some sugar and cook it to a thin syrup. So I will have a kumquat syrup for putting on uh, whatever you want to put it on, but it would be great in yogurt. It could be used in smoothies. It can be used on ice cream, cakes, cupcakes. It's endless. Whatever you want to use a syrup for, a kumquat syrup, this is one way that I use kumquats. I have the kumquat juice drained. I put about maybe a quarter of a cup of orange juice in it. I'm adding one cup of sugar and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice from our lemons. And we're gonna cook this for a little while and just see if we can't make a light syrup from kumquat and a touch of orange juice. It was our oranges that we had squeezed, fresh, fresh squeezed orange juice that I added. And that's fresh squeezed, just a few minutes ago, lemon juice. My kumquat syrup is looking amazing. I'm not sure if I've got enough sugar in it, but this is what's happening on my spoon, so I'm thinking I do have enough. Um, let's just stir it a little. Right now it's still pretty watery, but it tastes amazing. I've done tasted it, and I want a light syrup, so I'm not worried about it being thick, thick like heavy, heavy syrup. Got a ways to go, but isn't that beautiful? All right, we've been letting this cook for a little bit, just sit and boil. And look at that the rich brownness, but look at it, it's starting to kind of gel a little. If it turns into jelly, then we're okay too. But I'm looking for a syrup, and I think we're about there. And look at the color. It's beautiful. We're going to let it go a few minutes, and we're going to put it in our jar. And we're going to pour it in our pot jar. And I had almost a pint. It's perfect. We're going to see if it gels or if it turns into um, syrup, but kumquat syrup. That's what we're calling it right now till we know different. And you don't have to make huge amounts. This is going in the fridge for use over the next few days. The lid I'm using is just, um, you can order these lids and they have a seal inside. This is for... Um, things like jams and jellies. I'm not too worried if it seals seals because we're just going to be opening it again. But you can use these for things like this. And I'm going to put it down and see if it will seal. Just testing it, but I know it's going to get open shortly. All right, it's been several hours and it does look like a syrup. And I wanted to test the lid. The lid definitely seals, so these lids do work. Almost more than I can do to get it loose. So the lid did seal. I can see underneath it where it did seal. I have some yogurt here. 
and it's not going to take much. This little jar should last a while. You add just a little bit. Mmm. Kumquat. It's got a sweet, tangy taste because that's what kumquats are. They have that sweet orange-like taste, but then that really stout lemon lime type taste it is amazing and with the sugar it just kind of enhances it i'm just going to mix it in with my yogurt kumquat syrup even when you don't have very many you can always slice them up you just cut your recipes down and add the amount of sugar you think. I could have added more sugar, made it sweeter, probably made it gel. The longer I cooked it, it probably would have turned to jelly. It's the perfect thing to add to some yogurt or to smoothies, pour it over cakes, cupcakes. <laughs> oh my. Mm. I like to take my yogurt and add dry oatmeal, a little bit of something like this, some peanut butter, and uh, chia seeds, and mix it together. That is a good, just quick breakfast oatmeal. Mm. No cooking involved. Y'all, that is good. So. Kumquat syrup. That should last me for a while. And I did put on the label what it was just in case because you know how things get in the fridge and you go, okay, I forgot what I put in there. Label, guys. Always label. See y'all later from Crazy Days.